Hey guys, Jason the X for SCNS Live Power by Sillinks.com, and this is the figure review of the SH Figure Arts Pretty Guardian Sailor Neptune figure. And yes, this is another figure that gets me closer to completing these Sailor Moon action figures uh, that, you know, I really do dig. I like them a lot. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the box that she comes in. We'll set her over here because her heels are so delicate. Anyway, so you've got the box here, Sailor Neptune. Loving the color of the hair. It's it's really an off color from what the figure actually is on the box. Then they got a window display there, you know, Bandai Tomashinations. Here's a look at her with her mirror, getting ready to do that attack. And here's the clenched hands, which I really like. I know we got those kind of with Sailor Mars. Uh, here's a look at her. Uh, looks like she's doing deep submerge right there. Her big attacks on the back. You've got uh, a couple of shots of her. I love the hand poses. There's deep submerge. And some of her heads that she comes with, and there's that attack. So, yeah, pretty much well represented on the box as they always are. So let's go ahead and take a look at Neptune herself. Now, really good looking figure as usual. This one of the outer senshi. Glad to finally get Michiru. Is it Michiru? Is it Michiru or Michiru? Anyway, or, or Michelle as of an or in the American series. But yeah, pretty much our standard um, sailor costume. Got the standard articulation. I really do like this. This forest green bluish color that they use for her, I like this. And the hair, it's it's that bluish color, but it's got a wash in the corners. And that's a nice little detail there. Got our bow on the back here. Just a really nice figure as usual. Big fan of the Sailor Moon line. Only thing is, mine seems to be like off kilter on the back here. I don't know what it is about the bow and the waist. It just seems to be off a little bit. So, you know, I, it's kind of bothering me. Anyway, uh, still a great looking figure. I got this from uh, AnimeKingInc.com. Uh, really great deals on some figure arts figures. I like doing business with them. They're on eBay. They're on the web. But, you know, if you're, if you're looking for some good deals, uh, good shipping, fast shipping, I recommend them. And that's not, they didn't pay me for this. I'm just telling you. I, I've been doing business with them for a while. Uh, good company. So, yeah, um... Mitra looks good here, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of her accessories. I'm just getting her feet positioned, because like the other Sailor figures, she stands fairly well. Uh, I mean, she doesn't have the big weight of hair on her. So, yeah, this one is pretty good. So, all right, first off, she comes with her figure stand, which, you know, i got the Sailor Neptune logo here in her name. And it's got the claw. Of course, it has these two areas you can punch out if you want to put the claw somewhere else. I usually just put it in that one empty space when it doesn't fly out of my hand, and the figure falls. So there you go. And we're just going to go ahead and put her right in that thing, because, yeah, this table is not steady. You need to get like a heavy wooden table or something for these reviews. So we'll just leave her over there. Uh, we'll take a look at, she's got her mirror here, which has her, uh, the Neptune symbol on there. And it's just the silvery. It's not reflective at all. <clears throat> Although it does have some very nice detail on the side here. I like that. So yeah. And she comes with a number of hands to pose it. But before we get into her hands and face, she does have these arms for her uh, post-tension pose. And I know they've done a lot of crossed arms. They just did it with uh, the other sailor figure that just came out. I can't think of who that was, but uh, Uranus. I couldn't. I don't know why I couldn't think of Uranus, but uh, she's got these, and I noticed that there is a slit right in the wrist cut here, and I'm not entirely sure what that is for. Uh, so I know she's got instructions in here. I don't know why that cut is there. Is there something else that's supposed to go there? Oh, okay, I see. It's actually uh, where the bow is going to where the bow is going to go. And we'll go ahead and take a look at that uh, crossed arm post-tension pose. So let's see. Let's look at her faces here. She got that separate tray. So we'll just go ahead and get these out of here. We'll just pull them out onto the table. So she's got a, a yelling face or post-tension where she's you know, like, ah! So yeah. We got that one. And you've got this nice smiling face. Um, which... I don't know, this, uh, her smile's a little bit wider here and kind of crooked. I kind of don't like this one as much. I mean, you got her with like a decent slight smile, but this is definitely a smile here, so. Yeah. 
And then you've got one with her eyes closed while she's uh, praying or while well, doing her precognitive thing. And you do have this pair of clenched hands here, which have the two pegs in the back here. So I'm pretty sure that's going to be, well, it shouldn't be too much of a pain. Figure arts figures are very poseable. Uh, you got a sort of hands here. Of course, you got the ones that she comes on, the kind of half closed uh, fingers straight out. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, you have the uh, open splayed palms here. Maybe for doing her uh, big attack. You got some clinch fists. You got some uh, kind of more openish hands where the fingers are kind of out. Some partially closed hands. I think that's for more for posing. You got this one for one of her attacks, and you got this one for holding the mirror and having the hand cupping the uh, mirror on the other side. So, yeah. Now let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the clenched arms here. So what you want to do is just remove them right here at the cuff, and they pop out fairly easy. And because these little pieces they tend to fall off, we're just going to go ahead and put one of the arms on now. So this one, yeah, that's it. First time doing this on camera. I don't know why I didn't do it off camera. Okay, so we got that one on, and then we just pull this one off. And throw that on. Come on, get on there. Oh no, I pulled... Okay, she does have the face removal gimmick. Let's go ahead and... Uh, we'll go ahead and change out the faces. Since we've already pulled off her hair, nice job, Jason. Clumsy oaf. And there we go. I know that face doesn't quite match up for the Henshin uh, pose, but we're just going to throw it on there. And I seem to have not pushed this one in all the way, so we'll get that back in there. It's not that hard. I just got distracted with knocking off her hair. So as you can see, the uh, the bow is going to fit right into that slit there. And the hands will come together, and there you go. So yeah, I, I really like that. Really good job with the crossed arms. I haven't had the chance to deal with the ones that are separate. I don't know if I've had the closed ones with Captain Marvelous and uh, Ernest. So it's kind of nice to have them separate. And Piccolo, of course. Oh, see, there's the... The collar piece, not the collar piece, the shoulder piece came off. It actually goes the other way. Or does it? Wait a minute. Yeah, it goes the other way because you have that notch in there for uh, the arm to fit back on. So let's go ahead and change her face once more just because I want to check out the, the big the big smile because we're going to put her next to her and she's going to be very happy so just plug that back on these plugs kind of take a little bit of wear when you first get them out there you go you got her with a big smile on her face and just so we can see her holding her mirror let's use these hands here the bottom peg and I love this peg I, I wish they would use this for more figure arts figures and I was thinking the other day um, because I knew she was on the way, and I was like, all right, we're getting Uranus. Now, see, this arm is kind of coming off a little too easy now, so maybe I need to really wedge that in there. All right, there we go. She got the little ball joints on her uh, wrists, so you can fit those hands on there, and they stay on. And that was something they fixed early on with uh, Sailor Moon. But the other thing I was thinking the other day was, why don't they come with their pins? I, I honestly like that as an accessory. I know figure arts figures, they get very detailed and a lot of small pieces. Uh, why not just have them come with the, with the pins? So there she is holding the mirror. And she looks good doing it. I do like this figure. I mean, she wasn't my favorite of the Outer Senshi, but I'm, I'm more of an Ernest fan. But and speaking of Ernest, let's go ahead and bring her in. Let's put her on the stand so they're actually standing at the same height so you can see how tall she is next to Ernest. I should put them back to back. I might pose them later. Put it on Instagram or something. So yeah, you see uh, she's a little bit shorter than her, which she should be. 
So yeah, I like how these two look together. Finally, we got them both. I kind of wish they released them more at the same time. Now, articulation wise, she does have that nice uh, figure arch joint. Goes back and forth, goes around. The peg is actually in the foot as well. Double, well not double jointed. There's a single joint, but it will go past 90 degrees. You've got uh, that skirt joint that actually comes down, so she can get some kicks and other poses in there. Goes back up. And it's on a ball joint in there. You've got the uh, waist articulation here. Torso articulation on a ball joint. The head is on a nice ball joint that will, um, the hair kind of, if you move, it'll separate, see? So you got to kind of be careful with it, because I, I mean, you see how easy I popped it off, and I had never taken the hair off. Normally when I get these, their hair is very hard to come off the first time. Hers came off no problem. And of course you got the ball joint at shoulders, which covered up by that uh, joint there, well this uh, piece of cloth here. Elbows go past 90 degrees, not a double joint, but very nicely done, and little ball joints on the hands. She can actually hold that mirror out and do that attack. Let me go ahead and do that. So there we go. She can actually do that as well. I should have put her screaming face on for that one. Whoops! <laughs> and you know what? Just because I, I said it would probably be a pain, but I, I want to see it done, so let's go ahead and take these hands. Because it's not a pain. These things are so well articulated that things like this are not a problem so there you go see we did that in no time aren't, aren't you glad we did that aren't you glad i convinced you that we should do that so there they are standing together again i'm gonna have her looking on lovingly at her <laughs> but no they look really good together i'm glad they finally got uranus out or neptune out and there's only a few more to go well there's you know ah uh, there's tuxedo there's Chibi Moon, there's, uh, there's Pluto, Jesus! Anyway, they are really milking this line. However, I'm going to still be buying it because I think they're really awesome. So anyway, until next, guy, next time, guys, I'm Jason the X. Make sure you subscribe, like the video. Until next time, I will catch you later.